Hello, my lovelies. It is Monday, the 29th of March, 2021. And the sun is shining and it's springtime and the flowers are blooming and I love it. I love springtime. Um, I hope you've had a good day. I hope you've had a good day at work, school, home, wherever you've been. I hope you've had a good one. I wanted to talk to you about uncertainty today. Uncertainty is a tricky, tricky situation, a tricky feeling situation um, to get a hold of because it's not, it's, it's, like almost, it's not knowing. I don't know what's going to happen. What's going to happen? When is this going to happen? Why am I feeling like this? Okay. We've had a year and a bit, yeah, a year and a little bit of um, uncertainty. We can go out, we can't go out. We can go to school, we can't go to school. We can go to work, we can't go to work. Hang out with our friends, we can't hang out with our friends. And it's, it's, it's been odd because one minute it's been one way, next minute it's been the other. So it's left us possibly with a feeling of uncertainty and that can cause a little bit of anxiety and worry and it can cause us to respond quite emotionally to things that we wouldn't respond emotionally to. So it may, your feelings of anxiety or worry may be causing you to act a little bit out of character, normal, that's normal because we can only deal with a certain amount of uncertainty at a time. And this past year has been a really, really hard year. So if you're feeling anxious, worried, and you're acting emotionally, be kind to yourself. Don't, don't chastise yourself. Don't tell yourself off for not being able to handle what's going on. Because we're only built to handle a certain amount of stress and even though this situation last year may not have affected you directly it probably has affected you in some way and that is okay however you're feeling is normal okay so now that you're back at school now that you're back at school if you are feeling having those feelings of anxiety and worry talk to your pastoral support Talk to your teachers, talk to your friends, or I keep telling you to talk to people because it's so valuable to share how we're feeling. Talk to someone that you trust and know that those feelings of worry and anxiety haven't just popped up from nowhere. They're here because we have been through a really challenging time and that has been a, like a global situation. So you are not alone. We are all feeling the effects. However we feel, however we are reacting is, is normal for us. We're not all going to feel the same. There's no way. But we are going to be feeling, there are going to be parallels to the way we're feeling. So uncertainty, the uncertainty of the situation, because we're still not quite out of the situation it's not quite as bad as it was it's not the same as it was for example in December we're coming out the other end but there's still this kind of uncertainty we're waiting <laughs> we're waiting like Fee said she's waiting like this to see what's going to happen next and that's the uncertainty the not knowing and the lack of control that we have in our day-to-day -day lives. Even though we're getting there, we're getting back to normal, there's still this lack of control because we we still can't really go and hang out with our friends. Even though we see them at school, unfortunately, we're still not really supposed to be going to see them outside of school unless you're in a uh, bubble. So uncertainty can, can make us feel 
quite emotional. And the emotions that you, you are feeling and that you feel, they are normal and there's nothing wrong with them. But sometimes they can hinder, they can prevent us from having a good day. So if you are starting to feel anxious and you start to get those knots in your belly and you get that feeling of worry, you're not alone. But I would ask you to be brave and share that with someone that you trust. You aren't alone. But those feelings of worry and anxiety can make us feel like we are alone and that we are the only people that are feeling these feelings, even though they're very personal to you. It's not something that you have to handle by yourself. Talk to someone that you trust. Talk to your leaders at Rapport and Revolution. You can absolutely trust us. Talk to your families, talk to your friends, talk to a friend that you know will help you or will just listen. Talk to your teachers. Talk to me. You can email Fee at, let me get it right, revolution at no, no, I've got it wrong again. <laughs> office, office at revolutionpa.co.uk. I want you to know that you, the way that you're feeling is normal. And we can't just snap our fingers and be okay. It's a process. I, I'd like you to practice something. Just that may help you feel a little bit better. Just think about what's happening today. Don't think about what's going to happen in a week, two weeks. Even though we can't control what's going to happen, we can control how we, how we react to what's going on in our lives. So when we start to get those feelings of worry and we start to get those negative thoughts, through our head that everybody gets everybody gets them if anybody says that they don't it's not true even I get them I want you to say I am not alone I can handle it when I say I can handle it or you can handle it I'm not telling you to handle it by yourself please don't think that Please talk if you need to. But also know that you are really strong and really capable and incredibly brave. Sometimes to get over these things, it takes real courage. Be courageous and smile. I love you dearly. I miss you terribly. And I will see you all really soon for a massive hug. That goes for the parents too. Parents want a hug. I'm a hugger. <laughs> I can't wait to get back to live classes. I'm so proud of you. Take care. Get outside in the sun. It's gorgeous. I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.